Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have created employee GP entity. In this lecture, we are going to create employee repository. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and go to repository package over here. Right click on repository package, new one, then choose job class, select interface. Let us give interface name as employee repository. Next, let us extend this employee repository interface from JPA repository interface and make sure that you choose JP repository interface from org.springframework.data.jpa.repository package. Well, notice here JP repository is a generic interface. So we have to pass two parameters. First parameter is the type of the entity. Second parameter is the type of the primary key. So let us select JP repository over here and let us pass the parameters. First parameter is a type of the entity. In our case, employee entity. Next, let us pass the type of the primary key that is long well if you go to employee jp entity you can see here we have given the type to the primary key id as a long so this long data type we are passing to jp repository as a second parameter okay perfect well once our employee repository interface extends jp repository interface then this employee repository will get a crude methods to perform crude database operations on this employee jp entity all right so if you go to JP repository interface source code you can see JP repository interface provides these methods and again JP repository interface extends list crude repository interface and list crude repository interface provides all these methods and this list crude repository method internally extends crude repository interface and this crude repository you know, interface exposes a crude methods to perform crude database operations. Alright, it means this JP repository will inherit all the methods from all the extended interfaces. And again, Spring Data JP will provide the implementation for this JP repository interface. For example, if you click on this, you will get the implementation classes. And here, simple JP repository is a class that implements all the methods of JP repository interface and its, you know, child interfaces. So just click on simple JP repository class over here. And you can see simple JP repository class implements JP repository implementation interface and this interface internally extends JP repository interface. It means simple JP repository indirectly implements JP repository interface and its methods. All right. And if you can notice here, simple JP repository class, it is already annotated with add repository annotation. So we don't have to annotate our repository interface with add repository annotation for example if you go to employee repository we don't have to annotate this employee repository interface with add repository annotation because the implementation class that is simple jp repository class is already annotated with add repository annotation and here one more important point is simple jp repository class annotated with add transactional annotation it means all the methods in a simple JP repository class are by default transactional. We don't have to use again add transactional annotation in a service layer to make the methods as a transactional. Okay. For example, if you just scroll down, you can see delete by ID method is a transactional because it is annotated with add transactional annotation and delete method is a transactional because it is annotated with add transactional annotation. All right. So all the public methods in a simple JP repository class are transactional so we don't have to again use add transactional annotation to make these methods transactional all right just remember these couple of important points like simple jp repository is a class that implements jp repository interface and simple jp repository class it is already annotated with add repository annotation so we don't have to again annotate our repository interfaces with add repository annotation and simple jp repository class is annotated with add transactional annotation so all the methods, I mean, all the public methods in a simple JP repositories are by default transactional. We don't have to again make those methods transactional by using add transactional annotation. All right, perfect. So let me recap what we have done in this lecture. We have created employee repository interface that extends JP repository interface. So this employee repository will get crude methods to perform crude database operations on employee JP entity. In next lecture, we will create an employee DTO and employee mapper classes. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.